Hello everybody, welcome to HTML, CSS and JavaScript from beginner to advanced lesson 3. Uh, in this lesson I will teach you some more HTML tags. We will start uh, learning uh, B, strong, I, M, the superscript, subscript, HR horizontal rule, ahref uh, to make a reference to a website or to a page inside our website and uh, how to put an image in our web pages uh, we can use uh, img which stands for image and src which stands for source uh, let's start uh, doing it uh, please go ahead and uh, open your uh, notepad plus plus and create a new file and of course you can choose the language as a uh, html it's not mandatory but you can do that uh, start by typing uh, or creating your HTML so you can tell your browser that this uh, page is HTML and we can put all HTML contents in this one inside HTML uh, please go ahead and create uh, a tag and, and inside uh, the a tag so you have to close the 8 tag first, inside the 8 tag create your uh, page title and say for example HTML uh, lesson 3 close the title that was for hit and now let's create the body which is the most important part of uh, writing your HTML code and displaying content to the clients or viewers uh, close body tag here now we can uh, put all our codes inside body but before that let's uh, save this page uh, pick up the location where you want to save this page I have a location here called YouTube that's inside the uh, lesson 3 uh, sources and I will call this uh, page a uh, lesson dot html don't forget that dot html that's very important the extension of uh, this file save it and let's start first one is uh, b we can use b and strong together uh, because b and strong they do the same thing they both make text bold like this one but uh, we prefer strong we prefer using strong uh, than uh, B uh, let's see they do the same thing anyway but uh, strong is better because it's uh, it's better for screen readers to understand that uh, this uh, part of the text has a strong importance uh, you will learn those things later but right now just try to learn all these tags how to write them and what they do let's say for example this uh, this text is uh, bold for example now if you save this one and open this file I have this file here if you open it you see nothing is bold yet because we did not use the B tag yet let's make this text bold uh, we use B here and of course we have to close it so we can tell the browser that only this part of the text is supposed to be bold okay save this one and here you go if you see this text is bold now this part is not bold this part is not bold only this this text is bold uh, we of course we can use the same thing with uh, strong I can copy this one uh, you can uh, use this PR to create a new line so we can separate the lines again I'll go ahead save this one if you see this one is bold this is not bold now we can use the tag the strong uh, says type in strong here and close it strong save this here you go they look the same text is bold text is bold here please remember to use a strong instead of B okay uh, B. okay just uh, create a few breaks a few new lines so we can see things easily 
Okay, and now we can go ahead and uh, learn the next stack. Uh, that's italic and M. Again, they do the same thing. They both make text uh, italic, but again, M is uh, better than using I. I can say, for example, this. Uh, Okay, this text is what? This time maybe italic. Italic or italic. Okay, if I save this one, we can see that it's here, but nothing is italic yet. Let's make that ital italic. Uh, this part maybe. I can use I and then just go ahead and close it. Save this refresh it you see let's change to italic we can do the same thing uh, using m again just clean this okay delete that part see nothing is italic let's use m now m M. Just save this one, that means emphasis. There you go, that has changed too. They do the same thing, but aim is better and strong is better. Uh, let's go to the next uh, tag that's uh, superscript and subscript. Uh, you can see the examples here. Superscript changes the text something like this. We can use it in chemistry, or we can use it in math, we can use it somewhere else. Okay, and uh, subscript does something like this. Let's use them. For example, let me create a few breaks again. And now I can say maybe H to O. Save it. CH to O. It's just regular text, but if I try to change it like this subscript so I can do it. yep uh, close it save this and uh, there you go you can see that 2 is now a little bit down there and we can do the same thing to make it up for example 2 to the power of 2 and instead of B just use P Let me copy these ones here to make some break. New lines. Here you go. You see this one is in the bottom and this one is on the top. So that's the difference. Uh, let's go to the next one, to the next tag. The next one is uh, HR, horizontal rule. That will create a horizontal line. Just uh, type in HR and close it. We don't need to write anything inside HR, so we don't need we don't need to do something like this. Open tag and close tag. We don't need this one because we don't write anything inside it. We just close it like this. Okay. Uh, after you refresh your page, you see that there is a line here, a nice beautiful line. Let's create it. That was HR, and uh, now let's go to the next one, AHREF. What AHREF does is uh, it will create a reference to a website or to a page inside your website. Okay. To do that, we just try it. You know what? AHREF. This HREF is the attribute for A. That means it's an attribute for the stack. Uh, to make a reference to a website, you type your HTTP colon slash slash www dot for example google dot com and then type search and then close it. Save this one, open your browser, refresh it, you see there is a link right here, search what underline. 
if you click on this one now it will open google.com there you go it opened google.com we go back here as I said we can make a reference inside our website for example to a page I have a page here called index.html I can make reference to that one I can show you where it is it is right here with this lesson 3 I have index.html now if I refresh this one and click this one it opens that page this is the page inside my computer right now inside your website that was uh, creating a link the next tag is uh, img image src is the source uh, which is the attribute for our image just uh, you can type here the location of the image wherever the image is you can type uh, maybe http www.google.com slash book.jpg if the book.jpg is in that location or you can uh, make this reference inside your website right now I have it right in the same directory where this um, HTML file is so I type book.jpg jpg close it uh, again we close this like this because we don't need to write any text inside and refresh your browser here you go there is the book it's so simple to uh, put an image in your website just like that if it's uh, in another directory you can create for example image if it's an image directory image and then that's it slash and then you save it and refresh it it will find it if you have a directory like that so that was it for today please uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, watch the next tutorial.